Okay, so we want to find the volume of this torus. And um, so the torus is formed by, uh, this particular one, is formed by rotating a, um, a circle. Let me just kind of outline the circle here. Sort of outline it. So the idea is that this is a circle of radius b. And so the equation of this circle is uh, x minus a squared plus y squared equals to b squared. So here the center from the, uh, let's assume this is the axis. So this is 0, and this point would be uh, a. So um, this circle of radius b is rotated um, around the y-axis. So if you rotate it around the y-axis, you form this uh, shape that we see right here. It's called a torus. OK, and we want to find the volume of that. Um, so interestingly enough, um, we're not going to use, we're going to use this circle here, but we're not going to use it in the way um, that you're thinking. What we're going to do is, um, let me show you, um, it's sliced. So here we've got, this is a, sorry, OK. half torus and so the circle right here is so it's right here let me just kind of outline it and so this is so this is the point this is the axis this is zero this is a and right here this is uh, a plus b what we're going to do is instead of um, looking at it as um, using this circle um, if you take a look, um, th if you take a look at this cross section, this is basically a, a washer. And so let me uh, draw the washer right here. So this is our washer. And so that's that's the washer. So let me kind of draw it right here. And um, basically, we're going to um, take this the area of this washer, and so then we're going to integrate from the bottom over here to the to the top. So from the bottom here to the top of the torus. So then our task is to find the area of the uh, cross section, which is what I drew right here. And so essentially, um, this point on my washer is, let's just kind of assume that my this cross section, this washer is located right here. And so what I'm looking for then, oh, that's not a good color. Let me use this one. OK, so then what I'm looking for is the distance from here all the way to here. Well, this point right here and this point right here are both points on that circle right there. And so um, this is simply, if I solve for x here, I would get um, a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus y squared. Um, and so that makes sense. I mean, this is a right here, and then you're just going to either add this much or subtract that much to get your uh, two points. And so this guy right here, um, this is a minus the square root of b squared minus y squared. And this point right there, that's a plus the square root of b squared minus y squared. 
and notice that we're going to integrate from this is a negative b to a positive b and so then my integral is going to look like the integral of um, pi it's going to go from negative b to b and then it's going to be the big radius squared which is a plus the square root of b squared minus y squared squared so pi r squared so the radius from negative b to b um, minus the small radius which is a minus the square root of b squared minus y squared squared and all of this is going to be with respect to y remember a and b are uh, constant okay so if you um, simplify this a little bit um, what you're going to get is this is the same as 4a pi the integral from negative b to b of the square root of b squared minus y squared dy and this um, you don't do this anal analytically but you'll notice that this right here is um, the area area underneath a uh, half circle of radius b if you were to graph that so um, the volume this is going to equal to uh, 4 a pi times 1 half pi b squared which is equal to 2 pi squared a b squared and that's it